welcome to the channel Comfy Cactus. I am Chris and if you've been here before, welcome back. It's good to see you again. So I am wearing glasses today. I'll just get that out of the way. I'm wearing glasses today. I, I've been having a lot of eye issues so until I go to the doctor, it's glasses time. So, oh well. <laughs> So today I am doing a sort of mini pony restoration. I'm not gonna be doing a full cleaning on these ponies. I've actually already done that with this pony. She's making a comeback here. Um, but today I am focusing just on hair straightening and trying to get the, the hair as as nice as possible. So this, this pony, this girl, I have actually done a full cleaning on her. Um, so that, that video is available if you wanna watch the full cleaning. It was back when I first started and didn't have a, the best setup, but eh. <laughs> um, but I think she came out really good. She she came out really clean and everything. The only thing is her, her hair. It's softer than it was. It's straighter than it was, but it's still a bit frizzy and uh, wanted to try a straightener on it just to see, just see what, I, what would happen. And then this girl, she's got different hair. She has the, the strands of tinsel. So I was curious if there would be a way for me to straighten that because as you can see, it's pretty like dented and everything. I wanted to see what would happen if I tried to straighten it. This gal is a bait pony. So if I completely ruin, <laughs> ruin her, I was planning on making her a custom pony anyway. So it, it's kind of a, eh. oh well. So that is what I will be doing, and I will go ahead and I'll start with with uh, cherry cherry jubilee cherry jubilee uh, whichever, and I'll just give her tail a little quick quick brush here just to work out any knots that may have happened. It shouldn't it shouldn't be too knotted, I don't think. <laughs> uh, The uh, fabric softener really does, or not fabric softener, fabric softener? Yeah, fabric softener, that's what I use. Uh, the fabric softener really does do a great job at making um, these tails a lot softer. I can really feel the difference. Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> I have tried uh, straightening um, a pony's tail. I would say it was pretty successful. Um, with that for sitting over here. I did try it as like an experiment because I just wanted to see how it would work out. Um, so here, uh, another bait pony. <laughs> so I was experimenting on her and her tail it came out really good. Like you can see how straight, like this is not, and this is. And I'm just gonna show a little clip right now. The first time I tried straightening it and I think it's kind of funny, so here's this little clip right now. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay. Go fast. <laughs> Okay, let's see if I've melted it. <laughs> Did I melt it? No? It's not, it's not falling apart. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was a little shocked at the steam. <laughs> okay. It is, it is being straighter. I think the steam is freaking me out. <laughs> okay. Okay, it looks very straight. That 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 does look very straight. Ooh, it like freaked me out so much. My hands are starting to like. <laughs> okay, yeah. So um, it kind of freaked me out the first time I started. Uh, yeah. I I don't do a lot of a lot of stuff to my hair. I pretty much just wash my hair, let it air dry. I used to straighten my hair when I was younger, but I have very strong hair so I try to do as little to it as possible 
So yeah, I'm a little out of practice when it comes to hair straightening or anything. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna say that's good. Let's give her name. <laughs> it's still, it's still not bad. Like it, I am, you know, I am finding a few knots and stuff. But that's mostly because it's just, it's just frizzy. So it, it's actually not that bad. But we're gonna see if we can get it better. We're gonna go. <laughs> All right. So that should be, that should be pretty good. Actually, still smells really nice. Oh yeah, it smells nice competing with the burning smell of the hair straightener. <laughs> so I have some warm water off to the side here. I'm just gonna dip her tail into the warm water. Kind of squeeze off some excess. I don't really think I need too much. Okay, and we're gonna go, we're gonna go full straight out here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna straighten it and then I'm gonna wet it again and set it like how I set it before, so kind of twisted and around the leg, so that it can have a little bit of the, the curl to it. Um, so that's what that's what I intend to do. So um, smaller pieces are better. <laughs> you, you do want to use smaller pieces. Um, I think I was dividing into four when I was experimenting. And then, so I actually eighths. I was doing an eighth at a time. And I got this little mini hair straightener, actually for Christmas. Um, one of my sister-in-laws, I was talking about how I was thinking about getting a hair straightener to try with my, my ponies, but I was having a hard time finding a really small one. Well, she went out and found me. I think it's the smallest hair straightener I have ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute and so tiny, um, but uh, it, you know, it works. So here we go. Ooh, I hear that sizzle. Now I tend to go kind of quick and then pause at the ends. So the ends I feel like are always worse. Wow. Oh. Oh, I think there's some water or something on it. <laughs> it hissed at me. It hissed at me when I put it down. <laughs> um, wow, okay. I, I can really feel the difference. Um, if I feel that and then feel this. Pretty different. Pretty different. Alright, let's just try... I have some water here. I'll just put it on the ends. We're just going to try a little bit more for the ends. Oh, sorry. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Snap, crackle, pop. <laughs> gonna I think that is going to markably improve. Yes, I I do. I think that's gonna show some great difference there. <laughs> cool, okay. Here we go, next piece. Uh, so I'm using about like medium pressure. I am not like squeezing the crap out of it. I'm more or less just making sure it's clamping down on the hair. Um, again, this is plastic hair. You can melt it. <laughs> so, uh, that That is possible. You can melt it. Um, I don't want to, so. Yeah, just maybe one more time. Blue one. So there we 
<laughs> uh, I'm pretty impressed with how that's coming out. That's a quarter. There's a quarter. I can't, it's not a very good judge because the other half is wet, but I think that's really going to be good. I think that's going to be some awesome difference. Okay, so this is going to take a little bit of time. What should I talk about? <laughs> I seem to be doing movie reviews while I do, do restorations and stuff. Um, Puss in Boots! What an amazing movie. You know, that that movie, I think that has been my favorite movie for a long, for, in a long time. Not for a long time, but in a long time. Um, that movie was simply incredible. Uh, uh, so I didn't have, like, too much high hopes. I was pretty excited with the animation style. I, I saw that, and at first... The first time I saw it, I was kind of off-put from it. I was kind of like, mm, I don't know, I don't know, that seems kind of weird, you know? We have all this technology to make things look hyper-realistic, and they're purposely making it look like 2D on top of 3D. So at first I was like, I don't know about that, I think that might be kind of weird. Um, but no, it was, it was amazing, it was amazing. Uh, Darling and I went and saw it on like a, oh, I think we went on a Monday. I took, I took off a couple hours early from work so we could go watch it on a Monday. I liked it so much. Went and saw it with Cass same week, <laughs> later that week. I was just like, you want to go see this movie? <laughs> uh, and, and luckily she, she did. Okay, so so what was good about it? Um, the visuals, the the visuals were actually pretty amazing and and fun and everything. And Antonio Banderas, love listening to him, like with some <laughs> so cute. All right, I'm gonna talk about the actual story, and I'm not gonna do any spoilers that haven't already been said in the trailers. Okay, so um. General uh, major plot point is obviously uh, Puss in Boots has used up all of his lives. So he is down to his last cat life. And he, he, uh, well, I mean, it, it kind of scares him, right? He he has no fallback, no extra lives, you know? He messes up and that's it now. So I thought that was a very, um, a very nice way to kind of like forced retirement, you know, it's kind of a nice way to be like, oh, and this is how he retires and this is why he retires. It felt very, um, uh, what is the word? I mean, it, it felt purposeful and not like a contrived, like, Oh yeah, um, they stopped doing this thing because of some can try. I mean, can't even think of a movie at the moment that does that, but it's a very common trope, you know. The you know they they used to be great and now they've stopped for one reason or another. But this one it it makes a lot of sense. It goes with the story. It plays to his character. It it does. It makes a lot of sense. And so I was I was like. Okay, I, I buy this. Um, and so that was that was one thing I really liked about it. It was a a plot point that really, really made sense as to why his character was doing the things he was. So the the big the big thing, there's a fallen star that he can go make a wish on. So the whole movie is about him getting to this fallen star to make a wish. Obviously, there's other people that, you know, also want to make a wish. And, and so it, you know, you have a battle for the star. And we have returning um, Kitty Softpaws. Love her character. She's so cute. Um, have a new character. A uh, little dog. Love him. You know, if you own a dog, you just go, yeah. <laughs> 
Love him. Yeah, yeah. I love the dog. Um, it, it kind of harkens back to the annoying sidekick animal character. Like the first, the, the Shrek movie was so popular because you had Donkey and Shrek kind of playing off of each other. And so it, it kind of brought that back. Uh, but the, the, the little dog wasn't like super annoying, which I was glad, you know, everyone always makes Chihuahuas super annoying. And, and I liked how they went with this character and it was very like, oh, <laughs> I like him. Um, I'm sure somebody out there does. I like him. I thought he was a, a really, a really nicely developed dog character. Um... Lots of, lots of side characters that you really start to feel for. Like, you really, like, even though they were side characters and everything, you really, you really liked them. You, you were like, yeah, I like these characters, man. Um, so, so yes, great plot points. Um, love the story, love the characters, love the graphics. I, I heard some people say that the, um, kind of low frame rate for some things seemed weird to them. It didn't seem too weird to me. I was like, eh. Oh, my. <laughs> um, Kissing. I didn't feel like anything was contrived. Every point in the movie felt purposeful. And when I went and watched it again, I saw that even more, that things were very purposeful and very well thought out, you know, it, it, um, nicely thought, thought out, and, yeah, it was, uh, just very well done, and, you know, they, they kind of had to do that, um, because it's kind of been a while since we've had anything kind of Shrek-related, so they, they kind of needed to do that, you know? They, they needed to have the um, somewhat redemption movie where they, they get people back into this, this universe. So that was, a, that was a, a good way to like kind of bring it, bring it back. I mean, the last few Shrek movies, <laughs> did not enjoy them. But, um, the first two, first two Shrek movies, love those. I watched those, actually, I watched them recently. Love those movies. Well, obviously, for a rating, I would definitely give it a 10 out of 10. Love that movie. Love the Puss in Boots movie. Can't recommend it enough. If you've seen it, go see it again. <laughs> It's a great movie. Um, I I was talking to Darling recently. And they we're kind of like, so I'm kind of thinking maybe we should go see that movie again. And I was like, mm. <laughs> I would be down for that. I I so would be down for that. <laughs> so. Again, she was gonna uh, be a custom pony because. She came in a bait lot, and I thought, oh, well, you know, her hair's kind of messy. I can replace it with something else. But now that I've done this, <laughs> and I'm looking at her hair, I mean, that looks, that looks really nice. It's really straight. Look at that. You know what? Let me try, let me try doing her. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, that's a little bit better. <laughs> Definitely don't want it going straight up. <laughs> okay, I can, I can live with that. That's pretty much how it was before. <laughs> um, so I think I'm just going to call her good for now and then I'm gonna do a full cleaning where I actually take her head off, do the placement, everything. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go backwards with her. 
<laughs> but because I'm not going to actually set her hair, because there's not really much point. If I set it and then I decide that I'm going to clean her, what's the point? I'm going to have to set it again. Um, so yeah, I think I think I'll just call her good for now. She was mostly my experiment this time around. Oh gosh, I'm, I am loving the way this is working. <laughs> Oops, all my little paper towels on. Oh, and I could even give her like some cute curls. I might, I might, I might try to do some curling. Maybe. Oh, I love this. Look at how this is just like curling like this. I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna call her good and done. And I'm going to pick up a paper towel. Try this off. Oh, there's only there's only one piece of tinsel that was a casualty. <laughs> Doesn't even look like it was that big. There, one tinsel, one lonely tinsel. Not bad. I honestly, <laughs> I thought there'd be more. I thought I'd be like yanking it out all over the place. Okay, so now I'm going to. I think I'm done with this. Block that, just turn it off, move it aside. Okay, so I'm gonna unveil her and we're gonna see the final look for Cherry's Jubilee. Cherry's Jubilee, I think. Oh, hey. <laughs> Ooh, yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, and it smell it smells good again. <laughs> Clearly, still some fabric softener in there. All right, all right. It's it is much, much softer, much straighter than it was. It is, and it's uh, really curling. It'll relax a little bit um, with some time, uh, but that <laughs> that looks pretty well perfect. It feels really soft. I meant to grab. One of my other ponies that has nearly perfect hair. I'm just gonna brush this out a little bit to kind of. <laughs> Her tail got shorter because it's so much curlier. <laughs> uh, oh, it's it's gonna be like super curly. Okay, okay. I'm I'm not mad about it. I am surprised. <laughs> um, and that'll probably loosen up a little bit because I'm not putting any products or anything in the hair. So, all right, let's see that. Whoa, huh? <laughs> it's awfully pretty. Wow, look at that, look at that curl. It does have a little bit of um, a strange shape because it was around her leg, but you know what? It's it's actually kind of relaxing and looking a little better. It makes me think of the, um, the ones that wag their tail, like you squeeze the sides and they wag their tail, how they have those short curly tails. That's what it's making me think of. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna give her a good shake. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to try to loosen up her hair a little bit. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that, that's a, that is an improvement. That does look very nice. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> it looks better than it did before. Um, I'll put up some before pictures so we can really see the difference here. So there they are. All right. Yeah, that is pretty gone good. A surprising success. <laughs> I'm shocked at how well it worked, honestly. I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty shocked. Um, if I was a little more careful with how I twisted her tail, it might look a little bit better, but you know, 
that curl is not bothering me. That's fine. And again, it'll probably relax over time. And again, so we're, so will her mane. This I'm loving. I think this is adorable. This is cute. Um, so yeah, I, I am pretty excited. I may look into how, I, I don't know, hairspray or something. I don't know what I could put on this to get it to kind of stay without doing too much product. I wouldn't want too much product on it, but okay. I think that wraps up everything for this video. Uh, it turned out better than I thought it would. I'm probably going to incorporate hair straightening into my usual, uh, pony restorations just to make them look as good as possible. Um, I would recommend it, but if you try it for the first time, try one time on a pony that you don't care so much about. Uh, that way, if you mess it up, not a big deal. Alright, and if you liked this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. All that wonderful stuff. And I will see you in the next video. Uh, remember to stay positive and be kind to yourself. Okay? Bye-bye! Huh. I'm scared.